and everyone. Okay, we said assuming Cyrus was of average female proportions. Go ahead, read off what her height um. is. Okay. Her height. Read, start with that. That's like the first thing they mentioned. Okay, parents are Virginia and her Chief height. Rodney Aran. Or Aaron. Because Aran is too insensitive these days. Gender, obviously female. Height, 6 foot 3 in most games. Approximately 5 foot 9 in other M. Weight, 90 kilograms. 198 pounds without power suit. Okay, so... My goodness, I under I really undershot that. And you overshot it. No, we you undershot it worse than I did. <laughs> you said I was being sensitive. We were both of us were being too generous, that's what it was. If we're gonna base it on like the latest game, we're gonna have to assume she is five nine. You understand this, yeah, right? but no one likes other M though. That's what I hear. Yeah, that's what you hear. That you know what you call that hearsay. Say here is completely different. You say something and somebody hears it. And say here isn't even a real thing. I made that up. I know you did. Let's get these little guys. Yes, sand bats. That's not what a sand bat looks like. Ow. No sand battle is like I can't scan the orange. You can't scan the orange, sir. <laughs> you can scan purple, but not orange, because it's all about purple haze and purple rain. Which you know that's the reason why they made rain purple in Mortal Kombat. Yes, it's a tribute to Prince, and that's why they even made rain a prince. Was to further allude to the tribute. Yep. Walk onto the sand bats. Which is incredibly funny that Rain is in Mortal Kombat XL as a person you can fight. But he is neither DLC nor a secret fighter. Really? Yeah, he only appears in the story. Are we all dead? We all dead. He's dead, Jim. I didn't know that. I forgot what side he was on. There's always two sides in Mortal Kombat, aren't there? Well, in XL, there's three sides. What? Yeah. That's right. I don't have any of my bombs. The stupid Ing stole my bombs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't you say anything. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Otherwise, the stack person will can come down on me with a vengeance. And he's like really gonna send you off to sensitivity training. Pirate troopers. Hey, the pirate song is back! Is it the same Rory guitar one? I don't know, I heard the same opening jingle. The do 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 That yeah. one? Is he still there? Pirate guys! Oh, he's sneak attack! Well, there's two more. Three more. Where are you? I would laugh if he was, if he was just hiding behind <laughs> that pillar of sand going, Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Ah, oh, shit, she found me! Right? Yep. Yeah. Wait, you're not a pirate. You're not a pirate at all. Like, don't shoot me. Deflect it. Owie. Ah! Ah! I'm bleeding out! <laughs> that was a waste of a missile. Really? That was the end of the pirates? I, I guess so. No pirates for you. So yeah, I found out I'm actually working Halloween. So, no point in actually making a costume at this point. 
Yeah, because like when I was working Halloween, kind of like sucks. Because you don't want to take the costume to like, especially where you work. No, that any costume idea I would have had would be a hindrance. Oh God! I didn't even intend to shoot him. I was gonna let just caught in the blast radius. Yeah, I was. I, my intention was just to let him be. He wasn't harming anyone. He was just like chilling, minding his own business, and Samus has to be clean and utter and sensitive bitch. And... Hey, it's a shriek bat. Shriek bats. Shriek bats. I think I said that in the first Metroid Prime game. Maybe. Aren't they like really classic Metroid yes. villains? Um, Ken daddies. Fodder. Let's go ahead and say it, they're cannon fodder. Just like parademons! Oh uh, look, I think we're gonna come across another mini boss. Why does this look so familiar? Cause I played this game yeah, before! Yeah, and I understand that, but I'm just saying like, it seems so familiar as in... I may remember, like, it looks like one of the boss fights for the other Metroid Prime, like the first game, but... Yeah, they were trying to, we did fight something in an arena looking thing, didn't we? Yep. I don't remember what we fought, but it just... Well, let's go to this little arena. Of course! There's always something in this little arena. Is it... Twin Rover? Owie! Well, I already scanned him, so that's a good thing. Now to scan his evil form. No! No! Darkness! The darkness is on me! Ah! I'm leaving the thing go! No! <laughs> the darkness has taken his soul. <laughs> oh, he's a bomb guardian now. I thought it was an alpha. An alpha hawk? Man, I never knew that listening to the darkness lets you drop bombs out of your ass. <laughs> so we got I thought only Chipotle was supposed <laughs> to do that. Oh god, he's charging! Just gonna like, strafe around him and then blast him in the face with us. Oh god, he's going berserk! Jesus, look at all those bombs! Not only was he going berserk, he was going haywire! Oh, did he hit me? I don't know. You should really keep track of your health. Because you don't have any energy tanks. Well, you, can, you just got hit. Going around in a circle is not gonna help! Shit, 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 shit. Oh man, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna. No, I cannot die here! Where is he? Where is that little creep at? I'm gonna get behind him. Yeah, that's proven to be so. helpful right now. Go. It's not going. circling him! Go back! You put yourself in a corner! Shit, I'm like, I'm dying, man. I'm fucking dying. Like I said, you put yourself in a corner. All because you decided to go circle him while he's circling you, dropping things that can kill you. Yay! He's dead. And you're almost dead. I got health. I got health before. I had mucus in my mucus in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you to see that. Also concentrate on killing the bomb guardian. <laughs> you should just take a picture of what you're seeing and yeah. just throw it on screen so that people understand yeah. what you're looking at. I'm gonna do that. 
So all the they are supposed to read them about the Bob. We'll just throw over the picture of what you're seeing right now. Kind of disturbing, yet hilarious at the same time. Yay! It broke through. It broke through! Hooray! Harambe would be proud if Harambe was still alive. <laughs> Harambe memes, they never die. But Harambe did. <laughs> It's like, Harambe is probably like the longest lasting meme that people could think of in recent memory. Isn't it? Yeah. And then you know what, you saw what one of the jokes was, right? That Harambe can never die. But you know which meme they use for that, right? Which one? The, you remember kid, Harambe, how do your memes last forever? You remember kids, heroes get remembered, but like, legends never, never die. die. Follow your heart, kid. You can never go wrong. wrong. <laughs> that was a great movie. It was, and... Well, we're out of time. So next time we come back... Someone Dragon Den! We'll probably find a save station, because we have not saved in, like, three, four episodes. Bye, everyone! Peace out. King of Dragons. <laughs> he can fit it, too. A <laughs> child double XL. Thank you, husky fat kids, for giving me your shirts. <laughs>